Good morning dear friends. It is so nice that we could be together again this morning to meditate on God's word. And today our meditation is centered around Jesus Christ the person himself, the ideal man, our example. And let us start this day with Jesus. The scripture portions are taken from Matthew chapter 3 verses 13 to chapter 4 verse 1. And again Luke chapter 4 verses 13 and 14. And then as we proceed there are few other scripture passages I will mention. You may write down these references and I encourage again and again read these passages after the meditation or sometime today so that you the you will the, the whole thing you are hearing this morning will come back to you in a fresh way. You know the entire life of Jesus Christ is divided into two parts. First, 30 years of silence. Except a brief uh record, a, re- a brief account of his encounter with the doctors of uh, or scholars of the law uh, at the age of 12. Uh, this uh, is mentioned in the gospel according to St Luke chapter 2 verses 41 to 50 now second part of his life started at the time of his baptism at the age of 30 now which lasted for about three and a half years and this time of his life and the public life was when you think about it what a life it was what a what a what a ministry just three and a half years that changed the entire perception of the world in their thinking and understanding now he began his public life and his ministry with his baptism and um, which is recorded again in Matthew chapter 3 verses 13 to 16 what a life and what a ministry and i want to mention a few thoughts from his life and ministry baptism was the first step before he ever uttered a word in public before he preached or taught any lesson or any message before he performed any miracle the first thing he did was go to the john the baptist and ask him to baptize him and he was baptized and his baptism the number one thing i want you to notice here is his baptism prepared him for the holy spirit for we read in this passage that baptism is actually why jesus christ was baptized it was not necessary for him to be baptized but remember jesus christ lived in public and minister in public performed all his miracles in public absolutely as a man not as god and so he was setting an example for those who would follow him through the these ages Now baptism is obedience to God. Remember Jesus is uh, entering into his ministry purely as a human being. But a ideal man, God's ideal man. And um, in him we have the best example for everything spiritual and everything that we need to learn. to live a life that is pleasing to God. Baptism and Holy Spirit are closely related and connected. If you read in Acts chapter 2 verse 38 that is made very 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 clear. And um, every time you obey a revealed truth you are opening your life to the fullness of the holy spirit 
For we read in the in the account of baptism, as he came out of the waters, the heavens were opened, and the Holy Spirit descended from heaven and settled upon him. And God the Father spoke from heaven and gave him the credential, a certificate that says, I am well pleased with him. What a certificate. And that's the way anyone who wants to enter into the ministry must seek first. There are so many other degrees and certificates we seek. But my friends, those certificates and degrees we can earn easily by hard work and studying. But these certificates and papers will not give us the needed anointing and revelation from God without which we will not be able to understand the spiritual matters to be able to minister to others and help them to grow in their spiritual life as well. Remember, before you start the ministry or seek any other certificate, seek the certificate from God himself. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased and let God be well pleased with you and with your life. And that gives you all the credentials you need, all the uh, certificate you need. And that is very, very important, my, my uh, brothers and sisters. And uh, the son subjected himself to the Holy Spirit. Ever since the Holy Spirit descended upon him, he was filled with the Holy Spirit and he was led by the Holy Spirit and he was full of the Holy Spirit and he was in the Spirit. Even in the wilderness, he was in the Spirit. His works of preaching and teaching and performing miracles and casting out demons and raising dead, etc. were all done by the power of the Holy Spirit. And that is why we need the Holy Spirit's fullness and His anointing upon us and upon our ministry. And it is the work of the Holy Spirit. And the second thing you will notice is, while the uh, baptism prepared Him for the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit prepared Him for the wilderness experience that Jesus had by confronting the devil himself. Once he was filled with the Holy Spirit, he was led by the Holy Spirit. That's what we are reading. It says, and immediately the Holy Spirit led him into the wilderness for the specific purpose of being tempt to be tempted by the devil. And the reason I will tell you at the conclusion of this message, this meditation. And the Holy Spirit in you will accomplish certain things. The Holy Spirit in you will empower you. The Holy Spirit in you will lead you. The Holy Spirit in you will comfort you. The Holy Spirit in you reminds you the divine truths. The Holy Spirit in you teaches you and the Holy Spirit in you will reveal all the truth of God's word and give you revelation spirit. And that's why it is important for everyone who wants to live a life that is fruitful and useful uh, to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Now in the wilderness, he experienced loneliness, hunger, thirst, exhaustion, confrontation by the devil himself. He knows the intensity of temptations, especially from the devil, direct uh, from the devil. Here is a lesson. The more a person seeks to serve the Lord, the more he can expect to be tempted by the devil. Please take note of it. We are none of us is or are exempted from being tempted by the devil. 
if we are serious about ministry if we have totally committed ourselves and submitted ourselves to the holy spirit for the ministry and the more a person desire it you can expect if you are such a person you can expect to be tempted by the devil see he is not going to spare anybody he did not spare the son of god jesus christ our savior and he sets an example for us and how do you think that you will be accepted no are you serious about your life for jesus and are you serious about serving him are you serious about following him then it is expected and you can expect to be tempted be prepared therefore that's why jesus reminded his disciples very often watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation and um, christ thus set an example for us how to face our own wilderness to confront the devil himself and his temptation and overcome the devil and his temptation jesus used three means weapon or three weapons powerful weapon spiritual weapon he is number one he spent time with god the father in prayer remember in the wilderness what he was doing he was praying and praying with fasting and praying to his father he spent 40 days and 40 night he neither ate anything nor drank anything he was in communion and fellowship with his father meanwhile he was with the wild beast and all it says and the second uh, so prayer was the first weapon that he used and the second weapon he used was he made sure he was filled with the holy spirit and led by the holy spirit and he was in the holy spirit in the wilderness and the third weapon he used was the word of god he knew the scriptures and it depended on the word of god he employed the word as a weapon and uh, he faced all three types of temptations by using god's word and my friends the good news is that all these three weapons are easily available to any one of us we'll ask the father that is a good news and that's what jesus christ was able to accomplish not only in defeating the devil and all his temptations but also to face the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ all the three weapons are available to all of God's children not only uh, the senior ministers or uh, reverends or doctors of uh, theology no no every single believer has a, as as access to these three weapons for example you too can separate days of prayer and prayer with fasting and being in communion with god and in fellowship with god and growing uh, with the lord in his relationship uh, and come intimate with jesus christ you too can do that i can do that and then the holy spirit is given to anyone who dare to ask jesus himself said you evil fathers are willing to give good gifts to your children and how much more your heavenly father will give the holy spirit to those who ask him now that is the only condition ask him in humility ask him with real thirst and hunger for the holy spirit ask him because you know that without the holy spirit life as a christian as a follower of jesus christ is not going to be possible it has to be lived by the power of the holy spirit it is available and god the father delights in filling you with the holy spirit you ask with eagerness 
and that is what and uh, uh, th- th- therefore a- and then the word of god the word of god is in your hand the word of god is in your heart the word of god is in your mouth and word of god you can speak and it is by using the word of god because word of god is important that is uh, uh, that they are given to you you have no excuse to be defeated that is important you know why the word of god is the sword of the spirit so you have the power and you have uh, the, 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 the 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 opportunity and the privilege of coming before the throne of god almighty and pray and ask and grow intimate with the lord and then the holy spirit is available you know, for those who want it those who need and you need it my friends and you better want it and i pray that we through shall make a use of these wonderful powerful weapon listen the satan the devil has no answer to the power of the holy spirit he has no answer to the power of uh, uh, the, the p- power of the of the word hallelujah i the sword of the spirit he will be defeated when you know how to use the word of god and thirdly the wilderness prepared him for the public ministry till his death on the cross this entire life and ministry in public for three and a half years but that ministry was led by the holy spirit he depended on the holy spirit he was always in the spirit He himself confessed the works that I do I don't do it by my own power do it by the power of the holy spirit and my my, my friends never in his ministry and life Jesus was in doubt nor in fear nor in anxiety nor in unsure of anything nor in any kind of confusion this is because he lived a life of prayer he lived under the submission of the holy spirit and his leading and he depended totally on god's scriptures purely as a man the setting you and me an example that is human being we too have a right relationship with god the father and then be filled with the holy spirit and spend time in prayer and very often fasting and know the word of god you will be an overcomer and you will never be in doubt and never in his ministry you will notice that he was engaged in a dialogue with the demons anymore he just gave the command get out go and they left and they let me close by this thought take it down the effectiveness of your public life and ministry the effectiveness and the 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 power of your life and ministry in public depend on how you face your wilderness and handle you a tempter the devil and all his temptation your success your effectiveness and your powerful ministry in public will depend how you deal with your own life and all the tempter and and all the temptations that the tempter will bring on your path 
in your private life in your wilderness how do you handle any temptation that may come make sure that you know how you must deal with temptation when you are all alone what is your character your character is what you are when nobody is watching you that reveals your character let your character be characterized by the fruit of the holy spirit which is the character of jesus be a successful christian and a successful witness and an effective witness for jesus so that at the end you will be able to hear the master's voice well done my good and faithful servant you have been faithful in little things now enter into the rest that my father has prepared for you what do you like to hear when you stand before jesus on the day of judgment prepare yourself and be ready for this is another day god has given you to live and prove yourself to him and live your life today well and enjoy life amen father in heaven i thank you for blessing your people with the understanding of your plans and purposes for their life and lord today's meditation let it bring comfort strength and a courage to face challenges in life and now we know how we must face the tempter and all his temptations not by our strength or wisdom but by spending time in your presence in prayer and in worship and being filled with the holy spirit and knowing how to handle the word of god in every sphere of our life thank you for these weapons are available to us in jesus name amen god bless you have a good day